uh, we had one question on the chat. Okay. Yeah. This, uh, stiffness leads to person making clicks. Is stiffness the problem or habit is the problem? When Dr. Sharvani asked the question that habitually somebody is doing, voluntarily I am doing, okay. I feel like I get the click means I am feeling better. Okay. If click is not there, means my spine is not better. Okay. Obviously, it is psychological. Habit is the problem. Okay. But if I am having pain in the thorax or past history of low back pain and now I am having clicks in the lumbar spine, I should think of stiffness in the upper lumbar which has caused a hypermobility in the lower lumbar. Okay. So in that case, the stiffness is a separate problem. Uh, which is a somatic problem, not psychological problem. Okay. Uh, a sensation of stiffness in a deconditioned or a sedentary individual, that is psychological. But in the evaluation of stiffness is clinical. Okay, What we see as stiffness, we see as uh, when we do the pressure on the spine. That is what I meant by stiffness. Okay, uh, Not the subjective feeling that I am, my spine is stiff. Okay. We have to correspond that. We have to match that with our assessment. Right? Then only we say it is a stiffness. Stiffness as a symptom may be the thinking or range of motion restriction. Stiffness as a sign, definitely range of motion restriction, okay? which will indicate a mobilization. Okay? So that's the difference in the treatment planning. We should not go by the symptoms. Okay, We should go by both symptom and sign. Okay. And of course, mobilization, reassessment, whether the patient is having relief of symptoms. So that is a next picture there. Okay. Treatment-based reassessment. Okay. So we cannot just judge by anything by uh, stiffness is there and the click is there. So is it habitual or is it structural? Okay. So no. Okay. You have to see in relevance to the history. You have to see in relevance to um, the examination findings. Okay, it just because both are there, it does not mean that um, A is causing B or B is causing A. It may be two different disorders. Also, I was telling you about spondylosis, which is in upper lumbar, and you can have instability in the lower lumbar without even an interaction that the spondylosis caused to the instability can be there can be two conditions at two different levels. Okay, It's not at all related. That will happen when you mobilize the upper lumbar. You will find the upper lumbar range has improved. You will find that the segmental mobility in the upper lumbar has improved. But the lower lumbar instability symptom is not reduced. So that means there is no interdependence. These are different pathologies. Two different. Okay, So remember that A and B means A can cause B, B can cause A. R A is the effect of B. Both the things. Other thing is A and B can be unrelated. Okay, they are just two different disorders in a single person. Okay, so you need not. Uh, some disorder may be asymptomatic. That is uh, spondylosis, which is ankylosed, will be asymptomatic. So no need to treat that. Okay, it's bony and feel. You will not mobilize that. Uh, this is the instability. So the, here you have to address that. So here you might think of. Whether posture is abnormal, then you use the rigid taping. So you use the ligament wise end range loading. Otherwise, if it is movement wise or the pressure biofeedback assessment is abnormal, you will give the motor control retraining. Okay? So you will have to see as per the evaluation okay? in relationship as an extension of history with pathomechanics. Okay? That is how it goes. Before telling anybody as psychological, we should rule out the somatic things. Okay? Most of the time, the psychosomatic individuals will have extremes of expressions, emotional uh, in communication. Okay? So you know that psychosomatic is likely in these patients. Okay? They have fear of movement. Um, they are expecting that one particular treatment only is needed. They will tell that mobilize my spine, mobilize my spine. Okay? Yeah. Uh, simply they will tell. They are already getting clicks, but they want you to mobilize the spine. I was telling you, there can be a facet lock also up and there can be instability. Okay, So think of a lot of different pictures. Facet lock will have definite localized pain. Okay? So at that segment, when you are giving uh, testing and mobility and all, it will reproduce exactly the same pain above that is there. Okay, 
Spondylosis may not create pain. Uh, when initial degeneration also pain won't be there, late degeneration also pain won't be there. Okay? It's fixed. Uh, but facet joint dysfunction will cause pain every time because facet joint is very pain sensitive compared to the disc nucleus pulposa is not at all innervated. Okay? End plate, cartagenous end plate, not innervated with free nerve endings. So it will not pain. Okay? So uh, what is important here is to see that instability, whether it is Central mechanism, peripheral mechanism, in the peripheral mechanism, all that picture of evaluation will come here. Okay, cognitive affective versus peripheral. In peripheral, you have a situation where a differential diagnosis, or it could be with the active, passive directions. Okay, or it can be uh, the multiple aspects that staging. Okay, hypermobility, instability, the subluxations. Okay, uh, various reasons. Okay, so you should identify that. Okay, that's the trick there. Um, when you see treatments, you will know that how we have shortcuts. Um, but putting a legit tape, we know that it is a ligament structural problem, not the non-organic or psychological problem. Psychological problem, why will you feel better with putting a rigid tape okay, in the lumbar spine? Um, so they want the click only. Okay. They want the thrust manipulation or they want pressure on the spine. They want to listen that click, then only they feel better. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so in that case, it's like, I, mean, I told you in that also, in that you are not going to do manual therapy. You are going to do the uh, cognitive behavioral therapy. Okay. So don't, uh, but if there is an additional area, that area, whether symptom, that area, whether functionally related, then only you are going to treat that. Just because thorax is stiff, don't keep mobilizing the thorax. Okay. Um, instability is there, so thorax is stiff, so mobilize the thorax. No, assessment is important. Whether thorax, what way it influences this instability. Yeah. You correct the thorax, then the instability is better. There is an interrelationship. History, past thoracic pain, no instability in lumbar. I, I have been repeating these points. Okay. So what I want you to highlight is watch this video multiple times. Take some time, get the notes. Okay. And plan it, organize it. Okay. Don't just see two things as two things. Okay. Mm. See the two things as which one is first, which one is second. Okay. And what is the relationship between the two things? This is what I have been highlighting in uh, the first master class, the second master class, the evaluation one. Okay. So try to see that. Uh, get the picture. Okay. And enough reasons to are there to get confused. But there is only one purpose to stay clear. Okay. That is to keep your fundamentals strong okay so that keeps uh, becoming stronger if you have these kind of models in your hand where you can move that maybe or you have a model with you a person whom you can practice so that you retain or whatever you learned you keep discussing because that's why people should join as friends for example two three colleagues are joining the course together they can have an informal interaction after the master class okay, or before the master class in their own convenient time separately. That brings out a lot of uh, information and retention of information. Okay. Otherwise, our knowledge also will be unstable. When we are attending the session, we'll feel like extraordinary, exceptional knowledge. And the next day morning, we'll be feeling like, what was there yesterday? Hmm? Okay. So... Remember that, uh, mm -hmm. clear? So we end the day today and we see it tomorrow again and we see it for lumbar spondylosis, okay, the next session. And then subsequently Sunday will be the two clinical master classes, okay? Right? Okay, sir. Bye-bye. Dudashana, -bye. Shagira, Sharwani. Yeah, Garisha. Jack away to put you on a name with another.